One of the big issues in this family is that Crew sleeps in his mum and dad's bed and it leaves these parents sleep deprived. We're going to take the first step forward in making his room very familiar. I need mum and dad to stop using moving around as an excuse so that they can put the basics into Crew's bedroom that would allow him to feel cosy in his own room. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take up some things that he likes to play with and put them into that room and just spend 15 minutes in that room with him playing with some of the toys. So up we went to Crew's bedroom and invited his toys to be in that room. So he'd become a little bit accustomed to that space before he was going to sleep in it. Catch it! Oh. Crew totally reacted to Joe's idea of putting all the stuff in there. He looked around, saw his own toys and saw the familiar things and started playing with them. Had no quarrels about jumping in his own bed and, you know, hopping in there. And even though he was hopping around and playing in the place where he should be sleeping, it was still like he was comfortable with it. Crew, you're jumping on your bed. It's where you go to sleep now. You're going to be going to sleep in your bed. Even when the youngs move to a new home, putting familiar toys into Crew's bedroom is going to help him sleep in there and out of their bed. But the real question is, how will Mum do? I intend to find out. Tonight we're going to do the sleep technique with little Crew. Before Crew's bedtime, Mum was becoming rather nervous. I knew that emotionally this was going to be incredibly difficult for her. For Mum, this represents not just about Crew sleeping in his bed. This represents emotionally something much bigger because Jenny feels quite guilty. So I knew that not only would I be settling Crew, but I'd also be settling Jenny as well. I explained to Mum that she would be the first to do the sleep separation technique. This is what we're going to do. We need to teach him that when he comes out of his bed, he has to go straight back into it, OK? You're going to sit like so. The crib is here. You're going to be at the corner of the crib, facing towards the door. The sleep separation technique is we put Kruby in his crib and then you have to sit on the ground and listen to him cry in his room so that he sees you and you are actively ignoring him. As soon as he comes out, he's straight back in. No shh, no nothing, just straight back in, okay? When she asked me to go sit on the ground and have him see me ignoring him, I thought, he's gonna have his heart broken, I'm gonna crush him. <laughs> I was like, this is not going to work, OK? I don't care how much experience you've had. This is my kid, and it's not, gonna, it's not working for me. <coughs> Everything inside of me just hurts when I hear him cry. <coughs> it was pretty awful, because it was so hard. And I just wanted to turn around and scoop him up. <coughs> She's never had to experience something like this. She's never had to have this emotional disconnect with one of her children like this. And so I was a little worried that, that she was going to crack. He knows how far he's got to go to get you guys to cave in. And he will go there. He will go there tonight. I was teaching mum the sleep separation technique where she's adjacent to the crib and Crew will know that somebody is there and it's secure for him to sleep in his own bed. <laughs> but Crew's not having none of it. He's in the crib saying, Mommy, I cry, I cry, Mommy, I'm dying. And I was just, I was bawling and I'm like trembling because my body just wants to go to him. But after a while, Joe was sitting right outside the door. And she kept going, you're doing it. You're doing great. I thought, OK, you know what? Joe promised me that this, the first night, was going to be the hardest. And if I could get through the first night, then it, it would be easier from there. It's always hard as a parent to hear your kid cry. And for me, sitting down in the hall and knowing that my wife's in there, knowing how much she loves her kids, that was honestly the hardest part for me.
and she had done it. She held out. We did see crew go off to sleep and mum came out with victory smile on her face. Good job, babe. Thanks. She did a great job. She followed the steps that Joe told her to do, so I was really, really proud of her. <laughs> I had a girl. Oh, <laughs> Serious. Even though after Kirby had fallen asleep, I was still an emotional wreck. I was shaking. That was hard. <laughs> proud of you. I mean, the fruit was murder. Yeah. But you actually have just broke a massive cycle that was creating a bad habit. But I very much doubted that mum was done for the whole night. What will happen is, is that he'll wake up in the middle of the night and he'll either wake up and cry or he'll wake up and he'll get out of his crib. And what you need to do is to go back in, resume the same position, have him cry, and if he gets out, go back to sleep again. Jenny won the battle, but the war's just begun. In an hour or two, he's gonna get right back out and Jane's gonna have to go through the whole same process again. In the middle of the night when I had to get up with him, that was awful. It's like I'm already tired and here's my baby crying and I remember sitting on the floor just feeling like like crushed almost. And Joe went and sat by the door. I don't know if she saw that I was, you know, just really having a hard time, but she came in and, and whispered in my ear and told me, hold strong. And sure enough, he went back to sleep. I think they've proven to themselves that they are capable of doing it. They've just got to be consistent to get those results. Bedtime is really hard. I night, Bubba. I think bedtime is a nightmare. I hate bedtime. <laughs>